Woo. What's up guys and welcome back to another exciting episode. This episode, I'm actually with my boy Pablo. We actually went to high school together here in Fort Lauderdale. This is beautiful Fort Lauderdale. This is opening day of mini lobster season and we're about to dive in the water and get some lobster, hopefully. At the end of the day, it's beautiful out here, guys, and I cannot wait to get in the water.
Wow, 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 guys. What an absolutely incredible dive that was. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but that was my very first time diving with air. I've never done that before. They were using something called a brownie. I've never used one, never even seen one before growing up, to be honest. Um, but a brownie, actually, you can dive with an airline attached to you, and uh, you could be underwater for an extended period of time, just like diving with a tank. But the cool part about it to me is actually you're diving with actual air. So anyways, guys, it was amazing. Um, we got some incredible footage. I hope you love that footage. We got several lobsters. So what we decided to do, we decided to switch gears. We're heading offshore about 10 miles to do some deep dropping with an electric reel. And we're gonna be pulling up some amazing fish to eat. And then we're gonna take it back to the house, clean the fish, clean the lobster, and have a grill out. Pablo, you out here deep dropping, boy? Yeah, That's one rosy. Nice. One, one pig. One pig. I need to put a fish in. Here, let see, me see. look, on a rosy, I'll put my hand right in the yeah, jaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see that bad boy. Heck yeah, that's a nice rosy. Phew. Yeah, that reel's working. That reel's really working. Dinner, boys. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it ain't 300 more feet. No. Couple rosies, nice rosies too. Three of them. Look at that. Look at that. He barely <laughs> has that one. Get it in the boat. Get it in the boat. Oh yeah, it's barely oh, hooked. Oh, oh, it's a nice one too. Get it in the boat. Get it in the I boat. Got it. Get got them it. all in the boat. That one's hanging off too. Yeah. So we got a sick storm approaching. Um, insane storm. We're offshore, deep dropping right now. Uh, getting some rosies. First plan of attack was to get some lobsters, but we switched gears and headed offshore and did some deep dropping, and now we're being approached by this monsoon. Down 12 miles offshore, outside the squall line. Look are in the cooler, baby boy. Oh! I think you got more than rosies, bro. And I think you got three big ones. All right. Caught up in the same rig? Yeah. Oh, you got a yeah. shark or something on the bottom. You got a shark? Yeah. Fat boy. Big old fatty. You. That's a real rosy. Yeah, it is. Nice job. We got two rosies. Three rosies. Three rosies. A couple hogs. All right. There we go. Lights blinking, it works. We're staying. Set it down. Yeah, that should be the last drop. Oh, you still got, you're still a mile from the end. Head it down. That's 30 feet, 50 feet, 60 feet, 70, 80, 90, 90 100, 200, 300, 400. 500 feet and 500 more to go. You might have a toad on this one, boys. He killed it at the boat. Oh, we got a hog. Should be loaded. Nice. Three. Three nice fish. Three decent rosies. Bring them on board. A couple hogs here. About to wrap it up, Pablo. We're going to do something. We got to head in. This storm's coming. We go down in this cabin really quick. I wish I could. Woo! And uh, we're actually going to be bringing this fish back to the house. We're going to cook some uh, lobster up, some uh, rosies, and some steaks on the grill. So I'll see you guys at the grill. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. Just down the middle like that, all the way to there. And then what you want to do is rip this piece off right here. Just that front part of the shell. Yeah, just that front part. Nice. Once you remove that, you want to stick your fingers in here. Mm -hmm. One at a time, because if not, you'll cut yourself. And basically, you're separating the skin. Basically, the meat from yeah, the shell. Exactly. Nice. Oh, look 
at that, bro. It's butterfly. And then you season it with what you want. We're gonna use probably some lemon, some butter, some garlic. Any type of rub, just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And that's nice. pretty much it. And throw it on the grill. I don't, I don't usually put salt on the back end of the steak because this steak has a lot of fat and that's like flavor in its own. Exactly. Huh? So you basically just want the charcoal flavor on the bottom and the salt will penetrate on the top. We'll add these once these are done. You ain't got no more room. Awesome. That's my bite? Yeah. That's what's up right yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Dip it in the butter. Dang. Dip it in First the bite of lobster. 2019 lobster mini season. With Pablo the master chef. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so good, isn't it? I don't I would be mad if I was watching this video right <laughs> now. John's gonna watch it and realize we ain't lobster without him. This is so no. good. Oh yeah, he's gonna come over here. <laughs> Alright, Pablo, give me a taste test. Uh, you ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. That's fire, bro. John, yeah, give me man. a taste test. What, what do you like the best on the plate? The rosies. Rosies? <laughs> nice, I like it. The rosies, bro. Nice, mm. rosies made the cut. Standing underneath the rose of trees. I can see you where the ocean meets the sky Under our clothes, a fire grows We are ready for this life of running wild